Welcome back to my channel. Today is a super exciting day, you guys. Yes, super exciting because I am collaborating with none other than Winnie B. L. V. Oh, yes, we are, you guys. And we are going to show you guys our entire bag charm collection. Yes, it's going to be so amazing. So you're going to want to stick around for all this. Plus, I have a couple of little tiny, teeny unboxings to share with you. If you want to see our bag charm collection, you guys, and all the shenanigans that we have to offer you guys, stick around. Okay, first of all, I just want to say, I hope that Autumn doesn't get wind of this collaboration because she gets so jealous. Anytime Winnie and I try to sneak off by herself and do something without her, the wrath of Miss Beckman comes down upon us, so don't tell her about this, okay? Hopefully, she won't find out. And I feel like Dawn might be jealous, too. Yes. We'll talk about her later. Okay, guys. So, as I said, I have so much to show you. My bag charm collection isn't that big, but I'm going to start out with the Louis Vuitton bag charms. But before I do all that, you guys... Let me show you a couple of things that I recently got and I'm excited. It's my very first order with Beekman 1802 and this is all Dawn's fault because she's having a very bad effect on me. Suddenly I'm buying Dior makeup out the wazoo and suddenly zest is not good enough. No, I never use that, but you know, regular soap, Dior soap, like, the luxury cosmetics, the luxury soaps and lotions and all that stuff, lotions and potions. So what it was, she, I believe it was Valentine's Day, sent me some soaps from Beekman 1802. And I had never heard of that brand, you guys, because I've never been a luxury makeup person. But now, but now, I'm entering into that world, you guys, the murky waters of the luxury makeup, soaps, body creams, and all that stuff. So yes, back during Valentine's Day, she did send me some soaps and some hand lotion, and I loved it. Loved it, you guys. So what did I do when I was running out? I had to reorder. So basically, what we have here is a collection of Beekman soaps, different you know, flavors, and also the same hand cream, I think it was called. I just love this size. It's a two ounce Beekman Lang, Lang Lang and Tuberose. <laughs> you guys, my jaw is still really tight, okay? I miss my smile, but I love this, you guys. So she got me some of this, and I'm about to be out of it. So I quickly had to reorder. And she got me some soaps, and I reordered. And you can get these in packs of three, and they're not that much. I believe like 15 bucks. Oh, wow, this orange. I can smell it through the packaging. This is goat milk. Yes, I just got the natural uh, goat milk soap, and it's supposed to be very nourishing on your skin. So why not pamper ourselves, right? So I got a couple of these. I really, I wanted to find out what the goat milk soap was like because it, you know, talks about how nourishing on your skin it is. So I want to check that out. And then I got one more item and I got the goat milk whipped body cream. So, wow, you guys. So I'm going to really pamper myself tonight and take a nice bath and there's nothing better to take a nice long soaking bath with some beautiful soaps, get out, put on some lovely body cream. And I've never done this kind of thing before, you guys. It's so exciting. You know, for my birthday, I was unboxing all this Dior and Chanel makeup, you guys, and there's something to be said about it. I never really meant to go there, you guys. I just got, I just got sucked in by by Dawn, just sucked in, and then the, the Scents by Winnie. You guys, it never ends. It's, it's 
like I said, murky waters, okay? But I'm so excited about this stuff. I can't stand it. So yeah, this is my Beekman order. Some soap, body cream, and of course this hand cream that I'm obsessed with because it really does, it's beautiful on your hands. It's really soft and it doesn't have that sticky after feel. Exciting, exciting stuff you guys here on Yota Style, okay? Never miss an episode and if you're not subscribed, you guys, you need to subscribe and for some reason you guys people they will subscribe and then they unsubscribe don't do that <laughs> stay with me okay I have this and it's from Belk okay so let's just tear into it very carefully because you never know I might have to send it back so I got a couple of items from free people because on Belk you can find them often at really good prices. I don't think the dress was on sale, but I did find this really cute, look at this mint green dress, free people dress. You guys, oh, look how cute. It's not a sundress. It's just a little, kind of like a little baby doll dress. I'll stand up, see the bottom of it with the little ruffles. It's just so cute with a little pair of like Orion sandals or my Gucci sandals. And it just has the sleeves to the elbow, you know, with, with the elastic detail. And then what's really cute about it, look at the back of it. it. Even has ruffles on the back. I thought this was so cute. And I believe this was just full price. But, you know, you can get cash back with Rakuten, you guys. And I haven't been putting my coat on, but I will put my coat on the bottom. If you don't use Rakuten, you need to, because I just got like 150 bucks back. Yes, I shop a lot, but you guys, you do get something back every quarter. So anyway, I just thought this was a really cute little dress. Cute, cute. I love the color of it. That's what sold me. And then I got this Free People kind of a halter top. And this is kind of a reorder because I ordered it in medium because I usually wear medium and free people that dress is a medium I could tell it's gonna fit but I ordered this in a medium and it was so little you guys the girls would not the girls would not go in like they could not they would not they should not so I sent it back and got the large and I just love it and I thought about maybe getting another one maybe in a white this would be cute with some white pants little denim skirt is it showing up? It's elastic back here, see, like that. And it's just got these little spaghetti straps. Yes, so I love it. And I could wear like a kimono over it. I could wear a little cardigan over it or anything. So I just got those two little pieces. I'm always picking up clothes from free people and I will list these below and some more of my favorites, some things that I have purchased because it's, it's a great brand at an affordable price. And I, I just love the clothes because they're different. Okay guys, now we are going to enter into the bag charm world. I am going to start out with Louis Vuitton. I don't have just a couple of them. I've never really been a big bag charm person, but I'm gonna show you what I have, okay? All right, let's do it. I just got a news bulletin. I think that Dawn Loves Couture is joining us on this collaboration, so I will link her down below as well. I told you guys how she is, I told you. So, yes, she is joining in. She is going to share her exciting bag collection. I mean, how exciting can a YouTube video be? Bag charms, you guys. There's nothing more exciting, right? I'll be so happy when my smile comes back. I keep saying that. Okay, I'm going to start out with the Louis Vuitton charms that I do have. And when I buy a nice charm, which you'll see is hardly ever, I tend to buy it for a certain bag. So let me explain. I have this gorgeous Speedy 30, and I got it the day she debuted in Manhattan 
This is the most beautiful kind of a lilac gray. Oh my gosh, you guys, this bag is stunning. I also bought this charm for it and it stays on this bag. There has been a few times I've taken it off and put it on other bags, but I bought it for this bag and by George, it's gonna stay on this bag, okay? <laughs> I absolutely love this bag and this Speedy is a bit different because she also has a big pocket here on the back and she's stunning. This charm was bought specifically for this bag and yeah, I just love it on her. So this is the very first Louis Vuitton bag charm that I ever purchased. All right, Louis Vuitton and final bag charm number two. I have this one. And I did purchase this a while back, way before I got this Speedy. So I do tend to move this around to other bags, but she seems to find a really good home here with this Speedy. And is this not the perfect little summertime look? The reason I don't purchase Louis Vuitton bag charms is because of the price, duh. I mean, they are so expensive, but these two I absolutely love and they are versatile you know, but I'm the one that likes to keep them on certain bags. But this one, I do tend to move it around. I have looked at other bag charms, but I don't know. It's just something that I'm not really into. I mean, I have several, but as far as the high price bag charms, you know, I just don't want to put a lot of money into things like that. But I do enjoy these. I used to use the poof balls, and I had like Michael Kors and Rabbit fur poof balls or whatever and even some Amazon faux fur poof balls but I don't really like using real fur animal fur so I got rid of those and I'm over the poof balls anyway so anyway you guys I feel like coach has some fantastic bag charms for the price so that's usually the charms that I go for so let's get this off the shoulder top fixed <laughs> Okay guys, so I always put my coupon code for Dress Up Your Purse in my description box. Check it out. Put YOTA, capital letters, for 15% off anything on Dress Up Your Purse. And she has some lovely bag charms and I have quite a few to show you. So let's just start with the Dress Up Your Purse and then we'll work our way into the coach bag charms. Now, this is a Dress Up Your Purse. So this is a dress up your purse little chain. It's very lightweight and I love this because it's gold and it kind of has that pewter look. It's not really silver and I thought it was really pretty on my Speedy 25. So yeah, she's found a home here and I will move this one around from time to time but I really like a chain like this on a Speedy. It accentuates the shape of the bag, so this is very inexpensive, and she was kind enough to gift this to me, and I absolutely love this bag charm, you guys. Chains can really doll up a bag, so yeah, I love this one. This is one that comes from Dress Up Your Purse, you guys, and you would think that it came straight from Louis Vuitton, because look at that, look at that. It looks like it was made for my Alma, it is the very same color leather. I never take this one off. I keep this one on all the time. As a matter of fact, yeah, th this one is here to stay because I think it really adds something to it. It's subtle. I don't like overdone bag charms. You know, I mean, whatever you like is what you like. That's fine. But for me, I like my bag charm to just kind of accentuate my bag, not really take it over, if that makes sense. So this accentuates my bag. But if I had a big puff ball on it like I used to do, I think it takes it to a different level, almost a juvenile level. That's just my opinion, you guys, okay? I'm allowed to have an opinion. <laughs> but I think it's really cute, and I love this bag charm on this Alma. It just looks like it was made for it. All right, so next from Dress Up Your Purse, you guys, if you don't have any of these, and I did give some of these away a few months ago that she gifted me, but I decided to keep the blue because I don't really have blue in my collection. And I could also 
put it on that. That looks very summery and springtimey, but these are great little key clays. They're great for cards. You can put change in them. And this little tassel, I just added it to it because it's such a cute little combination. Melody has all kinds of lovely things. And she has this beautiful gold. I did gift one of these on my channel. And also a pink set like this. So I had given away two of these and I kept these two for myself. And actually, look at this. This might even be better because it's got the gold hardware, you guys. I could take that off and put that on. Look at that. That is so pretty on the Azure. I love that look. These little pieces are just inexpensive. They're genuine leather, you guys. Use my code and order a bunch of stuff because Melody, she does it right, you guys. Let me show you this. You can also put double. Now that's cute right there because that also does not take over the bag. So you've got this one that looks like it was made for it and then you just add the gold and it pops the hardware on this bag. This is super cute. I haven't tried it like this. I just looked down and saw it and thought that would be cute together. So I make, next time I carry it, carry it like this. So see how it accentuates the bag, but it doesn't totally take it over. You know what I mean? I do have a couple of little charms. Like this one is just something that I got at the drugstore, okay? Because I like the way the Y looks. I like that kind of bouncy letter look. And I bought several of these last year at Christmas when I was picking up a prescription. It was just there at the counter. I like an initial. I like a nice initial. And I liked it because it was silver. Because most of my charms are gold. So this is just super cute. And it's different because it is silver. And then Winnie sent me this one. Is this a Victoria's Secret? I think it is. And I just think this is so cute. It kind of gives me that Louis Vuitton vibe. You know how they have that little backpack. And I just think this is adorable. And of course, it does have the gold hardware. And I've put this on my bag several times. Because I just like to throw some money in there or coins, you know, or receipts. And it's just really handy. And I just think it's super adorable. Okay, so I do have two of these and technically it's a clay. It's not really a bag charm, but you can use it as a bag charm. I have this one and then I do have the lighter color one as well because I love these. I love these. So you can use it as a clay or just like the Louis Vuitton clays, you can just hang it off your bag. Just hang it off your bag like that and dress it up. Now I'm gonna admit, I haven't ever done that. Not to say I won't, but I haven't done it. But you can do it if you want to. I mean, it's your prerogative. I mean, it's your bag. You do what you want to do. You do you. All right, bam. We are now to the coach. <laughs> I just had a senior moment. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys are coming more frequently. <laughs> okay. We're to the Coach Bag Charm finale. Finally, the finale, okay? So, I have this Basquiat Charm. I love it. Love it so much on my famous bag. Okay, so anyway, you guys, as I was saying before my battery so rudely died on me, I feel like this charm really pops on this bag. Look how cute. Look how cute. And again, it doesn't take over the bag. It just accentuates it. So, bam. I love it. Love it. This is a forever bag, you guys. And I mean that with my whole heart. Okay? You're never going anywhere. Never. <laughs> okay. So, my little ladybug charm. This is a coach charm. And I love it. I love ladybugs. I love ladybugs and I love elephants. Those are my two favorites, okay? So I got this one and I believe I sent Lisa one. Lisa loves bags, she loves ladybugs. I just think this is so cute on my little red backpack and I tend to take this backpack to the football games because it's small and it's easy to handle and red is our color, red and black. But I just love 
this and this lives here this lives here okay I don't move it around on anything else because I think it's perfect for this little backpack okay so this one this little ladybug it's not really a charm but you can use it as a charm because you can just like dangle it off of bags and I don't even know if I've ever used it as a charm but it can be used as a charm is if you want to use it as a charm you could use it any way you want but it's really a zippy you guys and I love when coach they put out these little novelty pieces like this it's just you know has the accordion style there on the side and I just thought it was adorable so when I see things like this I usually pick up pieces like this because once they're gone they're really hard to find and then if you find them on eBay they're like really high and these are two of my favorites you guys look how cute okay this one I totally copied Lisa of Lisa loves bags because she had it and she had it on the Abeen and I already put my bag up but you guys trust me this is beautiful on Abeen and this is current on the website now it was gone for a while now it's back you guys need to grab this because I love it and I've used it a ton now this coach bag charm was gifted to me from none other than Autumn Bagman herself I was hired as a art teaching position and this was my congratulations gift from her it was very befitting an art teacher or any kind of a teacher and she sent me this green apple and then I quit no, really. And she said, well, I told her I de ended up declining the offer and decided to keep teaching art on my own the way I do. I just don't like to be tied down, you guys. I was tied down for years. So, but there were other reasons. But anyway, that's not about this. But anyway, Autumn said, wow, I should probably make you send that back. But she was kidding. But anyway, I wouldn't do it because I love it. I love it. And see what I'm saying? All these charms, except this one... And the Y that I showed you, this one, they all have gold hardware. It's hard to find the silver tone hardware, I think. Um, oh, and I do have one more bag charm that was gifted to me from Maudie, you guys. Snow 770777. She gifted this to me. And this is an old style Teddy Blake bag, you guys, that I will never, ever part with. Look at this, Teddy Blake. Teddy Blake look at this and I think they stopped doing this because they got a lot of flack from it now listen all all the designers copy each other right I keep getting off track but look at this bag charm it's perfect with this Kelly wannabe bag Teddy Blake <laughs> I really do you guys I'm not against it I am not against it because I would buy I wish Back in the day, when I got this bag, I had gotten five of these in different colors, okay? The little charm is so adorable. So adorable. And you guys, I may have more charms in there because I have all kinds of things stuffed in drawers and I'm in the middle of cleaning my closet and I'm pretty sure that there are more charms in there. But, you know, for the sake of the video, we'll just stop it at this. But I love them. But as far as the luxury charms, they're just too expensive for me. Now, you know, if I ever see something I absolutely have to have, like the two I have are pretty simple, but I love them. Will I ever buy another luxury bag charm? Maybe, I don't know, I don't know. But if I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. <laughs> I might, but I just, they're just so expensive. But I'm telling you, the Coach bag charms, the quality is excellent, so. I will list some of these. I don't think this one's current, but I think I did see this one on the website not long ago. All right, guys, so that's really all I have for you today. Go over to Winnie BLV and Don Loves Couture. Check out their videos. Subscribe. Okay, you guys, so thank you for spending time with me today. I love you all so much, and I will see you again in a couple of days. Peace.